but I'm just going to give you a little quick rundown on elastics. A lot of people struggle with what elastics to use and struggling when to actually choose what elastic for each situation. So to start off with, I personally use hydroelastic. So I'm going to run you through when I'd use each elastic. Now, there's probably nine or ten different elastics in the range. Me personally, I use six of them. So, you know, I might skip an odd one that I don't see the use for um, because obviously the ratings are very close to each other. So, for example, the orange and the white is what I use and I tend to skip the blue. So, starting off with, I start with the yellow. So, the yellow hydro, if you're going out there and you fish for silverfish or wintertime, you're fishing for smaller F1s, yellow is a perfect um, elastic for that. Now, moving into the springtime, then I would move on to the pink hydro. So the pink is, again, springtime. Fish are just starting to wake up. So, again, we're talking about smaller F1s. Um, and in the wintertime, it's brilliant even for, like, smaller carp as well. Now, it's a very forgiving elastic, so you can use this for your eyed fishing in the summer. You can even use it on natural venues um, where you're catching big quality silverfish as well. So the yellow and the pink will pretty much cover all my silverfish fishing, plus a bit of winter and spring F1 fishing. So moving on from that is the orange. So the orange hydro, brilliant F1 elastic. So a good all round elastic if you're catching F1s from sort of one to three pound in weight. If you're looking for sort of a shallow elastic in the summer, that's the one to go to. It's a real soft, forgiving elastic, but it's also got a bit of power in it as well. Now, if you're catching bigger weights of fish or, you know, you're one of these people who's limited to the amount of top kits you have. So say you only have three or four top kits and you, you know, you're struggling to decide what to put in, then probably the most common and best all round elastic is the white hydro. Again, you can land anything from ounces up to 10 pound no problem on this you could probably even land fish bigger than 10 pound in fact i have but i wouldn't recommend that for your big fish elastic it's a brilliant all-round elastic you know and if someone says to me andy i've only got two or three top kits four top kits max what would you put in two of them would definitely have white hydro in because it's probably the most commonly used elastic it's rated sort of six to ten but i would ignore the rating because hollows behave a little bit different from your solid elastics so for me personally i don't really go off the ratings i tend to use the elastic get to know what it can do and then take it from there all these little hydro elastics have got liquids in them so they retract really well you don't get flat spots you don't get bubbles so brilliant little um all-round elastic stepping up from the white we've got the gray hydro so the gray it's just a little bit thicker it's more it's got more sort of beef in it, so it's more designed for carp, for say, two to six pound. You know, it's a good, smaller carp elastic. If you need a little bit more backbone, then grey's the one to go to. And then finally, the last one I use in the range is the black hydro. Black's basically my carp elastic. Um, it's a brilliant elastic for edge fishing, for big carp and things like that. If you go into a venue where the fish are a lot bigger, then you can move up to red. But, you know, if you're a pleasure angler and, you know, you, you have a, a cheaper pole, for example, you don't want to be putting too much strain on them. So I'd, I would say black is a good, good level to go to. You don't want to go much higher. If you do, generally a margin pole would be better for it. So that's the six elastics I use. Hopefully it gives you a little bit of an idea of when to use what. You know, and if, like I say, one person might say to me, Andy, I've got three or four elastics. What would you pick? My answer would be for big carp, you know, keeping it dead simple here, big carp, black hydro, all around white hydro, and then smaller F1s, orange hydro, silverfish, yellow hydro. Four elastics there if you need to simplify it, which will cover virtually all of your fishing.